So you're interested in teaching an EIE unit, but you're wondering, how are the lessons organized? Don't freak out, we're here to help. At the end of this video, you'll see that each unit focuses on a different field of engineering, but they're all organized the same way, with one preparatory lesson and four unit lessons. Now let's get started. The first thing you need to know is that all lessons are important, so you should not try to skip a lesson, even if you're short on time. Lessons are designed to build upon each other to help scaffold the development of engineering practices. Each EIE unit starts with a storybook about a child who solves a real-world problem through engineering. EIE storybooks integrate literacy and social studies with your engineering and science lessons and help students understand how STEM subjects are relevant to their lives. Third grade teacher Kate Lance just finished teaching our knee brace unit for the first time. I asked her what advice she would give first time teachers just starting out a unit. I'd say do all the lessons, do them all. Um, read the storybook. It sets the context really nicely. Uh, throughout the course of the experience, you build curiosity, you build excitement, and then when you really get to create and design, you have all of these uh, prior experiences that make it really just so satisfying for the students. Do them all, slow it down, don't cut anything, and really enjoy the process. And you'll see it's so worth it. Now, for more information about our lesson structure, let's ask Nia, a professional development provider here at EIE. All units begin with a prep lesson, Tech in a Bag, which helps children actively construct the definition of technology. Lesson one, an engineering story, sets the context for the design challenge. Lesson two, provides a broader view of the engineering field. In lesson three, students gather scientific data to inform engineering, providing connections to math and science standards. All units culminate in an engineering design challenge in lesson four, where students create and improve their designs. EIE is research-based, standards-driven, and classroom-tested. Doing the lessons in order ensures your students have the best EIE experience possible. For more information, visit our online resources and make sure to watch the other videos in this Getting Started series. In the end, understanding how EIE lessons are organized will help you make the most of your engineering experience in the classroom.